Hi guys, today I'm gonna show you and I'm gonna make a quick uh, review and uh, a, uh, let's say some opinions about Vibram Viron or the, Vivo, the Vibram Bikila Evo 2. Uh, which is especially especially designed for runners that like to run barefoot and this is from what I've saw on the site the recommended model for beginners that uh, would like to try their products and would like to try running barefoot uh, Vibroin it's not from, in my opinion it's not a very well known brand Besides, I don't know, Asics, Nike, Adidas, uh, I don't know, New Balance, Brooks, Reebok, and all the other major running brands, uh, Mizuno and stuff like that, that are up there into the category of running uh, shoes. So this basically is is a shoe designed for barefoot barefoot running and for you that don't know Vibron makes uh, excellent rubber uh, materials for uh, the professional industry when it comes to sports uh, uh, shoes especially the ones that are made for hiking and going up uh, the mountain and stuff so Basically, this is the box. These are the some instructions, and we get in box is this stuff, which is in general how how to, and it explains that you should use the shoes. Uh, after three to four weeks and the first one or two week you should get comfortable and acquainted or something like that or better at your body and your your fingers should get acquainted with the product until you will try it and afterwards you should try like like it like 10% out of your total workout just to get a feel and basically to, to transit from normal running shoes to barefoot running shoes and other than that we'll get the sticker not too fancy this were in the shoe to keep, to keep the design of it and this is from Italy so they came from Vietnam and they imported it in Italy because I don't know they probably they don't have any manufacturing plant there and, and this is the, the product itself besides and all the great stuff Some instructions, in fact, some guide guidelines in which they tell you how to, to use the product and not uh, use it on the first try, stuff like that. And uh, these are the actual barefoot running shoes from them. Very comfortable, 
uh, very good quality, very good uh, stitching, seamless stitching from what I've saw. Uh, very well ventilated from the from the top and also from the sides. Very very cool design. Uh, this is lower part of it. And the rubber is some sort of um, plastic material, but it's it mimics plastic, but it's not plastic. I think it's a very uh, well fought and designed uh, rubber compound some rubber compound also here and here which is different and I'm gonna show you that it explains some some stuff about the compound and what you need to know um some uh, some detail uh, uh, some details specified about the materials this is um uh, a mesh it's a sort of a rubber mesh very very light and very uh, very flexible and also um, very thin but very durable, du durable from my point of view this is uh, this is a material that's present in all running shoes and it's synthetic of course this is the lacing basically if you want to unlock it you just give it like this and you want to lock it bam this is the locking position and the locking position as for the feel the feel of the actual running shoes if if you haven't uh, used any previous running shoes, uh, barefoot running shoes, uh, or if you haven't ran um, barefoot, they're for the first use, so the first time you put them on, they're not that comfortable with the, when it comes to your toes because the first three went very easily, but the 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 little finger went with this finger in, in this pocket and you should uh, let the finger uh, uh, get let's say acquainted or get cast, uh, accustomed accustomed to the to the actual uh, barefoot running shoe and they are very flexible as you as you can see very very comfortable <laughs> they're not that that tight here uh, I would have I think preferred some some sort of lacing right here but uh, I did some running in the house and they they stay very very well nice very nice design they're cool looking shoes and uh, they stay very well on your feet and if you ever run barefoot on the sand or on, on a treadmill 
using only uh, your your foot your feet sorry uh, running barefoot uh, you would experience that uh, your uh, your uh, your toes that make contact that uh, are making the contact with the rubber uh, the rubber stuff on the treadmill uh, will give you some bruises scratches and would be uncomfortable if you run like a few minutes or so so you really need some uh, special socks or this kind of uh, special running barefoot shoes uh, sports shoes that will help you alleviate that problem and will probably get you into the right direction so I'm gonna try this out I'm think I'm thinking uh, uh, right now and I will get back to you with the uh, reply if you are interested on how my uh, training went on in the gym so anyway guys that's pretty much it thanks for watching and i hope to see you next time like share subscribe to help to help out the channel especially that youtube modified the agreements for every youtube channel and it will really help me out if you like and subscribe so Thanks, thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye bye.